Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and we are with the Enterprise group, uh, currently under attack from the air. Uh, we do have one Wildcat in here. They were scouting their way out there. They'll never get there in time. Uh, these are the guys that are attacking us. Oops. They do have small bombs. Uh, thought they were going to... Um, strafe us, but they're going to bomb us. Got the Enterprise maneuvering. Probably not as much as it should. So, hope our uh, Ah, this guy's beat up. He's got critical damage. We can get some of these down before they drop. Reverse the turn. Enterprise is making smoke. Got one more moving in. They dropped. I don't know where the bombs went, but they dropped. Looks like they might... Moving in on Warden. Maybe not. First to turn. Best, I guess. Bombs are. Still shooting at him. But we did get away from them, so... All's fair and dropping bombs that don't exist, I guess. Good way to start the episode. Goes the Enterprise, we can have her stop making smoke. And uh get into today's episode. I think we're up to uh thirty-two now, so enjoy it. So here's a uh, situation in the Solomons. Uh, we did completely take uh, Shortland Island. It's in our hands despite the smoke. Uh, we've got a flight of uh, probably bombers moving in on our fuel convoy that's inbound drop off uh, fuel here at Shortland. Uh, we do have uh, more supplies coming. There's a cap headed in that general direction, only eight. Uh, both of, of my carriers are lacking in terms of uh, air wings. So at some point, I'm gonna have to send them back. Enterprise is gonna need repairs. Um, I've got this uh, empty supply convoy headed back. Well, it's actually not empty. It's got troops headed to uh, shortly, and we're just going to deposit them there. Uh, got a variety of responses to whether I should take Lay or a ball. Um, so that's still kind of up in the air. Uh, Lay is part of the victory conditions. You do have to take it. Uh, and right now, I don't think we have the forces on hand. Take Rabal. 
so it may be uh, kind of logical to go after the smaller base um, take that they do have a level 2 obviously that's where these guys came from these planes that you just saw uh, so bombing them into oblivion and then ignoring them um, it's not a bad idea but it is part of the victory conditions I was leaning towards Rabal. Uh, now I'm leaning towards Lay. Wishy-washy, I guess you could say. Um, hopefully these guys can get in there with their cap up over them. Uh, this is a supply convoy that's moving in here. Uh, we need engineering uh, for both these bases. Oh, actually, we don't need the supplies. That'll be a level 2 port. Uh, we do need the engineering here. And up here at Midway, we have this transport convoy that's loaded with supplies and engineering. And the other part of it is going to be joining them, grabbing supplies and engineering, and then heading down. Oh. Tar Heel right group or the task force Tar Heel in the area as well. I have them patrol down in the slot for the time being. Well, I haven't decided what I'm doing. It's a tough call. I mean, this I could see the reasoning behind taking Rabal just because they uh, can put a lot of uh, firepower down the slot threaten pretty much the entire Solomons. Uh, Lay is uh, part of the victory conditions. And you get points when you take the base. I need the points. So let's see what happens here. And we got a small flight of zeros moving in on the Enterprise and her escorts. We do have a cap up right now. Um, this honestly makes a good argument for doing something about play, whether it's bombing it into submission or uh, taking it. Right now, um, these flights are going to, they're not going to stop. They're going to keep going, though. Uh, get some guys on this zero here. Where he drops his bombs. Come on now. Get him down. Probably already dropped. Here, catch up. Would you? There's a uh, hit by the uh, small bomb. Got him down. We have more? Yep, we got one more. That's it. Oh, we got one more. So it was only a small hit here. Easy to fix. There's that. He's got plenty of planes coming after him, so. Did he drop his bombs? No, he's still got his bombs. They fly right towards the Enterprise. Alright, well, eventually we're gonna catch up with him and get him down.
Nine ships inbound. Uh, maybe one battleship. Two cruisers very fast. Gonna maneuver Task Force Tar Heel. Hopefully they can get there in time. And then uh, Yorktown, you're gonna come down here. Take up position like this. Rusher. Uh, we're gonna view kind of like this. We'll keep them there, see which direction they go. Uh, this may be Task Force Tar Heel's chance to uh, make a mark in the war. All right, that should be good for Guadalcanal to uh, build the port back up to a level two. But this is what we have to deal with right here. All right, moving in with the Thresher, we got problems. As Force Tar Heel isn't going to make it in time, they may come along to engage them uh, after the fact, but whatever they're going to do, they're going to do. Not really much I can do to stop it. I can hopefully sight them with the Thresher, but they're headed, uh, headed in the uh, other direction away from us. Got a cruiser. Destroyer, destroyer, cruiser. Uh, oh boy, <laughs> one, two. One. No, there's at least two cruisers. Two heavy cruisers and a battleship screw. So it would have been nice to uh, be able to do some damage with the Thresher, but. Oh, we're only 3,000 yards away. Unfortunately, that's uh, picking up pretty quick, so Thresher is not going to be able to do anything about these guys. This could be a problem. There's no transports, but they are uh, a battle group heading in there to uh, bombard, I would say. So, um, we're going to kill some of our troops, fortunately. I almost think they're trying to goad me into coming up there. It's either that or there's two groups. Because they came through here, came out here, and now they're heading back in this direction. And they haven't they haven't done anything. There's a short one. They're heading up. They're going to bomb it. Or they're gonna come back down. Let's find out. Yeah, they bombed it for sure. All right. Well, let's see what. Oh, they're coming back. They're definitely coming back. Tart Thresher is in a position now. Oh my God! Nope. Scope down. Stop. All right. Oh, so Thresher is 2,000 yards out from the battleship. 
and We'll give her an identification here. I'm not really sure if uh, no, they don't even have any of the escort fast battleships. That's a scary looking thing. Really don't want to raise that scope up. Twelve fourteen inch guns, fourteen six inch. Crusher's dead if this uh if we fire Thresher is dead. Going 20 knots. Forty-eight percent solution. Really don't want to raise that scope up with these uh destroyers here. Like 48's the best we're gonna get. Maybe committing Thresher to the deep, but needs to be done. to 300 feet. I'm right through the middle of the convoy. Okay. Slow down a little bit for now. At least until we get more into the baffles. Okay. Okay. Good. Pick up the speed a little bit. Up in that direction. I got to say, I had faith that these uh, torpedoes were going to do some enough damage to take them out, but honestly don't. We got Task Force Tar Heel in the area, too. So, there's the torpedoes way out there. All right, pick your speed up. If you cavitate now, time to go. Once the torpedoes hit, if they do, it's just looking decent. Can't believe this, the uh, destroyers didn't see the uh, see those torpedoes.
as we hold our breath and hope for the best. I'm kind of curious what they bombed that airfield down to. I think it's probably just a level 2. I was like, oh, it'd be nice to have a level 3 airfield there. Okay, let's see how we did. Magazine cargo explosion is a bonus. Sure. We got stern tubes, too. Didn't even think about that. For speed zero. try this. Oh, I can't. I'm so deep. Critical and critical. Wow, we may have just sunk the, uh... Sunk that battleship. What's your cavitation? Critical and critical, for sure. You sinking? It looks like it. Fires are spreading. Rusher may live to see another day, too. It's tempting to come to a stop and launch a manual torpedo. Back on her. Or right down her, her stern. This destroyer looks like he's got a fairly good idea where we are. If it turns out that it doesn't. Then we lose the uh, sight of her. I can't really tell if she's uh, onto us or not. Look at that. Alright, well, I'm okay with critical and critical here. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to stick around for too long in case this uh, destroyer <clears throat> decides to get really, really frisky. But if they leave... Okay, well, Thresher's going to sit for a little bit and Hopefully the damages play out on this battleship. And if the escorts aren't onto us and they leave, uh, we've got stern tubes. We could finish her off. Sit pretty, Thrushers. Sit pretty and quiet.
Okay, guys, I have been slowly moving around, trying to get Thresher into a position to strike with her stern tubes. Uh, this destroyer right here... I can't really tell if they know where we are. So, I mean, he's headed straight for us. 1,700 yards. I'm waiting for him to turn this way. But they're both coming kind of out and around us. I didn't have any solution on the uh, Fuso, so I switched the uh, target to this destroyer to see how close they may be. The Thresher isn't cavitating or anything. They haven't started using active. Also going slow as hell, so... We'll probably pick it up a little bit, but I don't want to pick it up too much. All I need to see is them turn the port. The other destroyer is right there. They haven't started turning into me either, so... Fuso's still... immobile, it would seem. Uh, yeah, still not moving. critical and critical so they're not getting the damages fixed looks like they're getting the flooding a little bit under control I mean they're not awash up over their uh, main turrets back here anymore I haven't heard any uh any sonar just yet. They're real close. I'm gonna try and if this guy keeps going could see this happening. I really have my doubts. They'll go in 10 knots. I'm going to slow down a little bit. Still no sonar. Alright, we got a quick update here. Uh, those destroyers are way out there. I think we managed to dodge them. They haven't changed course at all. They're still heading in this direction here. So I'm going to make a move. I'm going to make a move with my stern tubes. I did hear some sonar. 
Uh, got a little nervous, but um, the sonar faded as they uh, progressed away from us. Uh, but they haven't turned. They're still heading out in that direction. And there you go. Fuso is now sinking. So, Thresher. Good job, Thresher. Very good job. And that's with... One hit. There was more than one hit. It just went off the screen. I can't go up on it. No. There had to be more. How many torpedoes did I launch? Six. All right. So there was probably two hits and four duds. Luckily, the magazine exploded. So uh, Thresher are the champion. I'm proud of you, my happy little sub. Now you can just leave. Mission accomplished. Good job, Thresher. Level one. I'm from a level three to a level one. That's unfortunate. Uh, I wonder, uh, I can't see it in the middle of the night. Uh, we still have the task force, uh, Tar Heel moving in. Uh, we'll see what happens with this group. Um, and we've got our, uh, planes from Yorktown. 13 Dollases and uh, 15 Avengers, so we will make that uh, that strike in the next episode. I'm happy with uh, Crusher sinking a battleship with most of her torpedoes being duds, to be honest with you. Uh, anyway, if you guys liked the episode, I know it was a little shorter, but I'm going to try and get three up this week. Uh, so if you liked the episode, hit the like button if you want to... Follow along through our Pacific campaign. Hit the subscribe. If you have any tips or advice, leave those in the comment section down below, and we'll pick this up again in episode number 33, which may or may not see Task Force Tar Heels' first surface combat. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a very good day.